Hello and welcome to Key Stage 3. My name is Mr. Welsh and I'm the assistant head for this key stage. Summum a petto. That is our motto here at Brayburn School. It means seeking the top. That gives us a foundation for everything we do around the school and in Key Stage 3. We are here to support your child and help them become the best they can be in all areas, whether it's academically, emotionally or socially. Our mission here at Brayburn School is to actively value and celebrate diversity, providing a friendly and supportive environment to help your child flourish. The Key Stage 3 teachers have been working incredibly hard to ensure that they are ready to support your child at the start of this academic year. This term, as you know, will be delivered online, so the team have put together an orientation video to give you further information about what to expect this term and how we can support you and your child. Hello, I'm Miss Joroge, I'm the Year 7 leader and, I also, and also the 7S form tutor and I teach English. Welcome to the team. Hello, I'm Mr Williams and I will be 7B's tutor this year and I will also be teaching drama and history. Welcome. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs Moore and I'm going to be 7J tutor and I'm also teaching geography and history. Thank you. Hello, I'm Miss Chege. I am the 7K form tutor and I'll also be your Swahili teacher. Hello, I'm Miss Danaher. I'm going to be the Year 8 leader this year. I'm also going to have 8J form group and I am a French and Spanish teacher. Welcome. I'm Mr. Wino. I'm going to be 8K form tutor. I'm, I'm also a PE teacher. Thank you. Hi, my name is Miss Creevy. I'm going to be your art teacher and I'm also the form tutor of 8S. Hi, I'm Mrs. Waitumbi. I'm the 8B form tutor and I teach science to year 7 and 8. There are a few changes for year 6s coming on to year 7. Um, for instance, they were used to having only um, to take, spending most of their time with the form tutor, but this time we have specialist teachers that will be with them mostly, which is an added advantage for them. Uh, but we're here to support them and we'll make sure that all their needs are met. We have an excellent group of Year 8 students this year that we are all really looking forward to working with. We are going to have high expectations of them as they are now at the top of the school. This means we are going to expect them to be role models to the rest of the school and to show off all of the qualities and skills that they've picked up during their time at Brayburn Primary. This is now their transition year into secondary school. We will be there to support them every step of the way and we're really excited to work with them. I take the well-being of the students very well so that they are successful learners. We have different ways that we do it. The form tutors do regular check-ins with them and so do the, do the um, subject teachers. We also have the tech, um, the ICT department that also helps them with all the technology issues. We also have a school counsellor who they have access to. So we try as much as possible to make sure that all their needs are met. And um, we are also looking forward to any communications between in home collaboration between home and school so that uh, they are all successful learners. We will be continuing to use Google Classroom for our remote teaching and learning this term. The students are quite familiar with it now, but next week we will be doing some training with them to make sure that they really know exactly what they need to be doing so that they can achieve their very best. Every morning all the students will have 15 minutes with their form tutor to discuss any needs they have and it's just a general check-in for their well-being and social interaction with each other. We will be following a normal school timetable. We will expect all the students to be at all of their lessons on time and we're following our usual curriculum so that they have all of their usual skills and subjects on offer. We're also going to be developing an extracurricular programme which we'll be sorting out over the following week so that students have more opportunity to be interacting socially as that's something that we think they really need. 
Key Stage 3 teachers have adapted their curriculum and teaching style to better suit online learning during this time. You will notice from the timetables that your child and you will receive that we have adapted the school day to better suit this environment. Each lesson will be 45 minutes long and we've recognised the need for screen breaks to give pupils an opportunity to move away from their computer, rest their eyes from staring at a screen and also go and have a comfort break if needed. These screen breaks are 10 minutes long and there is also still the normal morning break time as well as lunch time. You will notice that we've moved the end of the day slightly earlier so the school day now finishes at 2.45. After this time if your child would like to do some extracurricular clubs we are currently putting together a extracurricular package where your child will be able to be involved with a social fun and enjoyable after school session if they if you wish more information about this will be sent out at the end of week one assessment and feedback in key stage three during remote teaching and learning throughout this term we will continue as teachers to uh, offer feedback and we will also offer assessment to ensure progress is being made by your child now obviously this is going to look slightly different compared to what it would look like if we were in the classroom face to face. For every single lesson that is offered on, online, teachers will be continually giving feedback to pupils. This might take different, lots of different forms though. Some feedback might be verbal and it might be offered to the whole class. Some feedback might be verbal but offered individually. Sometimes the teacher might set up a session where feedback is offered between classmates called peer assessment. As well as verbal feedback, feedback can be expected um, through written feedback. If you are in a core subject, um, you can expect to receive written feedback within two days of a piece of work being set. For all other subjects, you can expect feedback when an assessment has been set before the start of the next lesson. The communication between school and home is vital to ensure the continued development of every pupil in this school. If you would like to talk to an individual teacher, myself or anyone else in the school, please do contact the school office directly to request a conversation with us. We will get back to you as soon as we can, either by via video link or on the telephone. Key Stage 3 teachers have adapted their curriculum and teaching style to better suit online learning during this time. You will notice from the timetables that your child and you will receive that we have adapted the school day to better suit this environment. Each lesson will be 45 minutes long and we've recognised the need for screen breaks to give pupils an opportunity to move away from their computer rest their eyes from staring at a screen and also go and have a comfort break if needed. These screen breaks are 10 minutes long and there is also still the normal morning break time as well as lunch time. You will notice that we've moved the end of the day slightly earlier so the school day now finishes at 2.45. After this time if your child would like to do some extracurricular clubs we are currently putting together a extracurricular package where your child will be able to be involved with a social fun and enjoyable after school session if they if you wish more information about this will be sent out at the end of week one we really hope you found this orientation video helpful full of lots of information to give you a taste of what's to come as we start this new academic year as a key stage we are really excited to get started and help support every pupil to become confident individuals, responsible citizens and learners who enjoy success. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch with the school office and we will do our best to help answer those questions. Also, please come along to the Key Stage 3 Forum, which is taking place on Friday and we can answer some of your questions there. Thank you very much.